Um, so really, I don't have any uh, other questions for you. And as promised, uh, you could ask me anything now. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I want to hear more about your, your interest in, in filmmaking and horror filmmaking. Like, what? when did you start getting interested in it? Sounds out, well, I mean, you're young now, so it sounds like you got started really young. So tell me about that. Yeah, I really uh, started, like, it only started, like, last year, you know? Mm -hmm. And still, I haven't seen really that many uh, horror films. Like, there are so many still on my wish list, like, even classics. Like, sometimes it's just, uh, watch, like, really forgotten movies, uh, like, uh, The Legacy or something, if you heard of that mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, that's not one of those classics, like, an Iron Man Elm stuff. Like, right. the forgotten horror movies, I really like those, you know? Uh, mm -hmm. Like, the vintage horror movies. But really where it started, I have absolutely no idea, like, what movie really made me uh, want to watch uh, more horror films. Mm -hmm. But, like, <laughs> now it's, like, my favorite genre, and then I've even started collecting, like, other paperback novels from, uh, uh, like, 70s and the 80s. Uh, not just from Stephen King, like, also, also forgotten uh, mm -hmm. horror paperbacks, you know? So, mm -hmm. like, over the last year... Uh, my interest in horror really has started to grow. And uh, also, like, uh, I had this really annoying, because I worked at a, I work at a supermarket, and mm -hmm. <laughs> a few months ago, uh, this guy left. But that, that was, like, my old boss, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and he was so annoying. So in my in my head, I just uh, made this uh, concept of, like, <laughs> like, a slasher film. In uh -oh. a supermarket, you know, <laughs> and it was, like, it was really funny, you know, to uh, because that was what kept me uh, uh, busy, busy throughout the working day whenever he was working. And, like, he, <laughs> sometimes he'd just say things to me, and I'd be like, Oh, that's something he would say in before he killed someone, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that was always really funny to do because uh, yeah, it was really annoying, and I also had like a uh, completely opposite uh like a uh, boss or manager, you know, was actually like really nice. So uh, that was really fun. Mm -hmm. the, uh, it's funny you say that because because also little known fact that New Nightmare was primarily written on an old Wang um, word processor, like before computers were all did everything. Yeah. Uh, while I was a secretary at an accounting firm in Cleveland. <laughs> because because so, work I was that's when I had gone broke but I had gotten the deal and I was writing it but I had to had to work and so I had to write while I was being a secretary <laughs> all right <laughs> so uh, uh just like what, what's it called again like multi uh, multitasking <laughs> yes 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 and and they it freaked them out at first because I was working on something else at work but their work that they had for me took me like five to 10 minutes. All right. I had eight hours. So I'm just like, look, I could, I could do, and, and I could do work faster than the, the, the person I was, I was temporarily replacing. And so I said, look, you can fire me and I can go off and write this book, which I have to do anyway, or I can continue to do things faster than you've ever had it. And you can have me around for when you need me. And then I can write in the meantime. They're like, uh, okay. <laughs> so another question is then, okay, so so when, what got you started by, uh, with your YouTube channel? Um, that's actually like a really long story. It started all the way back in 2015. Mm -hmm. um, and it started, or like 2014 even, like it started with, a YouTube channel that was basically focused on Lego and it was like a stop, <laughs> stop motion movies, you know, that nice. I used to make. And they're terrible, you know, it's like uh, two frames per second. Yeah, we've <laughs> so, all been there. <laughs> so it's really slow. Like I sometimes I just go back to watch them. So that's fun, you know, the memories and stuff. Um, then I did like a news video <laughs> on that channel and that was like my first video where I actually talk myself about stuff uh, mm -hmm. with a really high-pitched voice back then. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> uh, it, it was about like the Lego Movie 2 and the Lego Ninjago movie, which, which was being made, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, 
And then I was like, this is actually really fun to do, to do like new stuff. And then uh, I made another channel and basically quit the Lego channel. And that was called Marvel Tube, which is basically like Marvel and YouTube and one. Mm -hmm. uh, and there I, uh, I was originally going to do just like news videos. Uh, about super removes and stuff, uh, but really that didn't go anywhere. Um, so I started to do uh, like skits on there with like friends and stuff. Uh, so that re it it really started there with my short films and stuff and a uh, like filmmaking journey, which is still going, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I started getting all these ghost subscribers who weren't really watching my videos, you know. Um, and I also, my interest in uh, superhero movies really went down. It's still going down, really, uh, mm -hmm. because they're honestly getting terrible, m more terrible, you know, with each film and more like it's just the same, you know, like Captain Marvel is coming out soon. And it's basically like just the female Iron Man. Like, I'm still going to watch it, you know, and right, that's right, purely right. why they make it because to make money. <laughs> right. But uh, yeah, then I started to get interested in horror more. And then I started, you know, Slash for Pepper. Um, which is basically a pun for slasher movies and Dr. Pepper. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to Dr. Pepper in a moment. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so yeah, that okay. really started with my uh, YouTube channel, which I'm still doing now. Mm -hmm. So what, yeah, so what is the deal with Dr. Pepper? What, what is your, where is your, what, what does your love for Dr. Pepper spring from? <laughs> I honestly have no idea. I just, um, like the thing is, um, if I lived in America, I probably would have never called my channel Slasher Pepper because like in America, Dr. Pepper is a huge brand, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, everyone has that one friend who like uh, always has Dr. Pepper at parties and stuff, you know, and uh, I shun that friend. Oh, really? <laughs> 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 but, but like uh, Dr. Pepper is really common soda, you know, mm -hmm. um, but in the Netherlands, uh, like what do you call that? Where uh, where they put the sodas? The, like how, how would you call the, it in the supermarket? Wait, the the coolers? Yeah, but like there's only uh, uh there's like a a whole cola, Coca Cola section, but then there's only a real uh like tiny section for Dr Pepper, uh in the Netherlands. There's oh like right, right, right. One yeah. row of Dr Pepper in the yeah, Netherlands. The shelf, so right. in the Netherlands, it's not really that common of a soda. So all my friends know me for being like the Dr. Pepper guy, you know, Got <laughs> and it. that's what really started. Got it. That makes sense. It's funny. It's a great, it's a great combination because, um, you know, it's so like horror over here and Dr. The, the yeah. sweetness and, and, and bubbliness of, of Dr. Pepper over there. Plus they're there. I don't know if you've seen their, their ad campaign, their ad campaign here is ridiculous and all about sweetness and this little little guy <laughs> yeah and, and it's also about football and stuff right yeah well yeah that too it's just uh so that i find that a very funny combination i like it but the story is why i bought my first dr pepper is also really funny because like uh of course there's like one section for dr pepper so why would i buy it you know even though I'm always a guy who likes to try out new uh, <laughs> new drinks and food and stuff. Uh, but in the first Spider-Man movie from Sam Raimi, uh, the yes. 2002 one, there is a scene where he's like practicing his webs and stuff in his room. And he also uh, uh, webs one Dr. Pepper. And ah, yes. that's, that's why I started to drink it. Yeah. So hey. all the movies actually work. Yeah, I was going to say, ladies and gentlemen, product placement works. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, awesome. I, I've seen that movies over and over again, like uh, Indiana Jones and Spider-Man. Those movies are like my childhood, really. Mm. I like also a little bit of Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, I like the early ones. I'm good with the early ones. Yeah. And, and then they sort of get really boring. We talk wanna, about more of the same. Like, Pirates, are you talking about Pirates of the Caribbean? No? Yeah. As yeah. A, yeah <laughs> later Pirates movie are just like, what, what, what are we doing here again? Yeah. <laughs> Like they're trying to build like a uh, Pirates of the Caribbean cinematic universe, you know, mm -hmm. and just start to be like superheroes, like they're climbing all over the ship and stuff. And it's like that—that's just ridiculous, you know. 